I'm really excited to see you take those amazing videos that you made last year and revamp them and make them fresh for your new group of students. We'll start by typing in our address bar, edit.screencastify.com. This will open up the Screencastify editing tool where I can add any media and make changes as I please. First, I'll choose the video that I want to edit. I'll go to Add Media where it will allow me to select any video from my Google Drive or my computer. In this case, I'm going to upload a video that a colleague of mine made last year about the Bill of Rights. I want to revamp it just a little bit to make it apply better to my group of students. Once I select the video, we'll see it pop up at the bottom of the screen. Here, we have the option to manipulate both the visual and the audio aspects of this video. We can click the audio bar at the bottom and adjust the volume so that it matches the content of our video. Another thing I love to do is really personalize the video for my group of students this year. I can do that by adding a title card to the beginning of my video. To add a title card, I click on the beginning of the video and make sure it's highlighted in yellow. Then I click Add Media and select Title. This will generate a title card, which is essentially a black screen where I can type whatever I want. Another thing I like to do is break my video up into chunks. Perhaps this group of students doesn't need the last part of this lesson. I can click on the clip, click Cut, and then just delete that last part that I don't need. I could also do that anywhere in the middle of the video. Another way that I can personalize this video for my students is by referring to things that may have happened in class through text. This will let them know that it's actually me, the person that's teaching them. I can do that by adding a text box anywhere on the screen. I have the same formatting options that I do with my title card. Oh no, my text isn't fitting, but it's okay because I can stretch the text box and make it look however I want. The very last way that I like to personalize and revamp these videos for new groups of students is choosing to add other videos to the end of this video. I can record an extra snippet, click add media, and upload it right here at the end of my project. 